Banks here in the United States are extremely concerned. This includes the large banks, regional banks, even credit unions are concerned that people are going to rush to the bank, pull all their money out, and we will see a massive bank run here in the United States. I wanna address why this is because as of right now, we have over $7 trillion of uninsured deposits. This means $7 trillion would not be given back to the American people, to businesses, to individuals. It would simply be gone. It would vanish. That is concerning. Now I wanna address everything that is going on right now, why banks are highly concerned, what is coming in the very near future, and what you should expect moving forward. So make sure you stick around and watch this entire video, especially if you have even $1 in the bank, you need to know what the bank could do with your money. So I'm gonna address all this in just a moment. All I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates, and now let's begin. So here's the first thing you need to know. If a bank is in trouble, they could actually use your money to save themselves. This is called a bank bail-in. The bank uses customers' deposits to bail itself out. Yeah, that's concerning. But here is the real concern. Look at this. This is from the Daily Hoddle. It says seven trillion. $162 billion in uninsured deposits brewing in U.S. bank accounts as customers risk zero protection from federal government. This is a report from August 9th, just a few days ago. But this is why it's so concerning. The FDIC insures up to $250,000 in deposits. Most people are like, well, that's perfectly fine. I only have $18 in the bank, I am okay. But here's the real concern. What about when the bank goes under? FDIC insurance kicks in and you will get your money. We've seen this before. Okay, We saw this when a Silicon Valley bank in First Republic went under because there were some large depositors that had more than $250,000 in their account. Well, guess what? FDIC came out and said, and Janet Yellen specifically said, everybody will be made whole. They will not lose a single dollar. That's exactly what happened. FDIC was able to use something called a systematic risk exemption rule. That's the rule, that's what they did to pay more than $250,000 in uninsured uh, deposits. People got 100% of their money back. Now you're probably thinking, well, that's great. That's the FDIC should have done that. Janet Yellen, our, our treasury sh uh, uh, secretary should have done that, right? That was the right move and, and was it? Yeah, you know, you, people shouldn't be losing their money. Businesses, wealthy individuals shouldn't be losing money. But here's the concern. Right now, there is about $19 trillion in total deposits here in the United States. $19 trillion. Remember I said there was $7,162,000,000,000 in uninsured deposits. That means only $12 trillion or a little bit less than $12 trillion is insured. Okay. That's not bad, right? We, there's a decent amount of insured deposits. Here's the concern. How much does FDIC have in their bank? How much FD, FDIC insurance, okay? FDIC, what do they have? What does their account look like? Well, according to a report about uh, three months ago, they have roughly, get this, $120 billion in their account. So we have $19 trillion in total deposits. We have... Uh, $12 trillion uh, in insured deposits, $7 trillion, $162 billion in uninsured deposits. But what does FDIC have? They have $120 billion in their account. There is no way 
they could pay 100% of the total deposits that are in the United States. So here's what's been happening. Even if just 1%, this is what a friend of mine told me. If 1% of all the deposits were pulled from the banks, okay? For one, this would be the, the probably the largest bank run uh, we've ever seen. Number two, it would collapse financial institutions. 1%. So that is $1.9 trillion would be, well, actually, that's not 1%, that's 10%. Um, was that $190 billion pulled? Again, keep in mind that if we start pulling money from banks, banks, that's how they, they operate. That's the struggle. But listen to this one. Okay, I had a couple people write me. Actually, more people wrote me. One, he was very specific about the bank that he works for, um, so I left out that comment. But this person, these people said this. The first person says, and I quote, Adam is starting again. I have many customers who are worried about the banking system collapsing and are taking out their money. It is mainly businesses and wealthy individuals who are taking cash out to get down to the $250,000 FDIC limit. Do you think this will continue? My answer is yes. And the reason I say this is because I've talked to several friends of mine who do have some bigger businesses um, that are wealthier individuals, and they aren't keeping you know, $5 million in a bank account. What they're doing is uh, many of them are investing into uh, you know, short term and just quick bonds. Okay, just a little quick return. That's it. And then they'll just kind of keep keep doing it. But here's the thing. Do I think more businesses take money out? I do. Unfortunately, I, I think there's there's more negative catalysts coming up than than positive ones. I think the US economy is I don't think it's time to jump in on on too much yet. I think there's a lot of a lot of doubt. Here's the other comment I received. This person says, and I quote, I had several accounts with more than $250,000 in them, and I liquidated most of my accounts. I left each account with $200,000 in it, and I will invest my money elsewhere. I don't want to get stuck with uninsured deposits if everything is starting to crack. And this is the person that actually left me this, okay? They left me the link to this exact article. Yeah. So first off, I want to thank everybody that does uh, contribute in the comments, whether it's with uh, a link to a specific article, um, just an idea, it's just some something that they've went through. Again, I'm using a lot of your guys' situations, um, your stories, to help people out here on the channel. But here's the reason why I bring this to your attention today. We're getting more articles about a potential banking collapse or failures. We get more uh, statements from uh, you know officials. We get more uh, statements and uh, you know just videos from CEOs of Bank of America, from J.P. Morgan, from some uh, regional banks as well. Right, people are talking about a potential collapse. Well, you don't talk about something if there is absolutely no way it's going to happen. But they've slowly started to talk about it over the past year or two, and it's just ramped up recently. A lot of it has to do with this commercial real estate mortgage crisis that we're going to face in the first quarter of 2025. So as of right now, should you be concerned about what's going on with your bank? I would be a little bit skeptical about keeping a lot of money in the bank, but just understand if you spread it out, you should be fine, okay? I'm not a financial expert, okay? I'm, I'm not your advisor. Go talk to somebody that you know deals with your specific situation, but if you spread your money out, you diversify, you should be okay, all right? So I will leave you with that, but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you think it's concerning that we have seven over $7 trillion in uninsured deposits, $19 trillion in total deposits, yet FDIC only has $120 billion in their account to pay you? Yeah, 
That's why I'm concerned. So let me know your, your thoughts down in the comment section below. But as of today, that is what we know. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.